Hello everyone, my name is John Spinks, Senior Principal Technical Marketing Manager for Red Hat Insights. Today, we're going to cover Insights integration with Microsoft Teams. Insights has a number of integrations with various third-party products. Along with Teams, we have ServiceNow, Splunk, Google Chat, Slack, event-driven Ansible, and webhooks. The webhooks are really flexible and allow integrations with things like Grafana and Jira. Webhooks are even the back end for some of our integrations like Teams, which I'll show you in a moment. The idea is to get Insights data into third-party tools, making it simple and easy for you to get the analytics from Insights to where you already are. The Microsoft Teams integration has been pretty popular, and we wanted to show you how easy it is to set up and use. We'll do a couple of things to show this off. First, we'll go into Teams and create an incoming webhook. Second, we'll go into the Hybrid Cloud console at console.redhat.com and create the Teams integration. Third, we'll go into the Behavior Groups and tell the Hybrid Cloud console what information we want to send onto Teams. Finally, we'll test and validate that things are working. Let's take a look. Within Microsoft 365, I'm going to start by going into Teams. In the Teams menu, I already have an alerts team that I want to send Insights notification to that Teams already created. I'm going to click on Apps. I'm going to search for Webhook. I've got an incoming Webhook, and I will add that. And then I'll add it to a team. This will be the general alerts team. And now I'll set up a connector. We'll provide a name. We can optionally upload an image and then click create. Be sure you copy the URL shown below. Then click done. Now that the webhook is associated with the team and we have the URL, we're going to go into the hybrid cloud console. The URL is console.redhat.com and you sign in with your Red Hat credentials. Note that I am signing in as an organization administrator. I have all of the access I need with my account to configure the integration and notifications. Your account will also need to either be an org admin or your user needs to be part of a group that gives the notifications administrator role. To begin in the upper right corner, click the gear icon, then click integrations. This takes you to the integrations page. Notice that there are a few different tabs here. Cloud lets you integrate with various cloud providers, simplifying connecting you to Azure, AWS, Google Cloud, or Oracle Cloud. This helps you to get gold images, track subscription utilization, launch images that you build with Insights, and simplify registration to Red Hats and to Insights. The Red Hat tab helps you to connect to an OCP data source. The Reporting and Automation tab helps you to connect to event-driven Ansible, ServiceNow, and Splunk. And the Webhooks tab helps you to create a generic webhook. For this video, we're going to select the Communications tab, which lets you configure integrations for Microsoft Teams, Google Chat, or Slack. We'll click Add Integration to begin, and then click Microsoft Office Teams. Click Next. Our integration name will be MS Teams. And now we're going to paste that URL that we got earlier from the Teams console. Click Next. This is going to summarize your integration name and your import URL. And you click Submit. That's it. At this point, we've created the incoming webhook in Teams, and we've pasted that URL into the Hybrid Cloud console to create our integration. The next step is to tell Insights in the Hybrid Cloud Console what information to send to Teams. On the left-hand navigation bar, expand Notifications, then click Configure Events. Notice the tabs at the top. You can configure events for OpenShift, RHEL, or the Hybrid Cloud Console. We're going to default to RHEL, but if you want to add notifications for another platform, you will need to repeat these steps. Click the Behavior Group tab under RHEL. 
I do have a few behavior groups that are already created. You may not. I could edit one of these, but I'm going to start by creating a new behavior group by clicking Create New Group. We'll call this group MS Teams. Click Next, and we're going to select the action Integration Microsoft Teams. And our recipient is the MS Teams integration we just created. We can add additional actions, but for now, to keep it simple, we'll just click Next. Now we decide what type of events you want to get notified about. You can use the filters to select only certain services, like malware and vulnerability. Then you can select specific event types that you want to be notified about. I'm going to clear the filters to reset the view, and I'm just going to select all of the events and click Next. Review your settings and click Finish. There's my new behavior group, MS Teams. As mentioned before, you can edit an existing behavior group. I could take this aggregated notifications group that already exists, click the three dots, aka the kebab menu, then click Edit. Using the wizard, I can simply add the Microsoft Teams integration to this existing behavior group, then complete the wizard. So you can do a single action in a behavior group or multiple actions, whatever works best for you. The events are created by the services. At this point, there is not a way to create custom events. If you want an event for something that doesn't currently exist, please let us know by using the purple feedback button on the lower right. This feedback button creates a JIRA task that gets reviewed by product management. The feedback is greatly appreciated and impacts what we build in Insights. Remember that if you also want to get notifications from OpenShift or the Hybrid Cloud Console, you should tap the tabs up top and complete the same steps for those platforms. At this point, we've created the incoming webhook in Teams, and we've pasted the URL into the Hybrid Cloud Console to create our integration. We've also created or edited a behavior group to tell the Hybrid Cloud Console what type of events to send on to Teams. The next thing to do is test if this is working. On RHEL, the Insights client runs about once every 24 hours as a systemd process. I don't want to wait that long, so in the background, I've manually fired off the Insights client command on a host. That should generate some activity to get passed onto Teams. Without leaving the console, you can click the event log on the left-hand navigation bar. This is going to show us the most recent events and if any integrations were triggered by the event. I can see that the most recent activity was just a moment ago, and I can see that I have a check mark next to the Teams integrations. Let me go back to Microsoft Teams and see if I have any alerts. Success! Insights detected issues and sent them on to Microsoft Teams through the integration that we created. I can see which host had the issue and the open malware or open policies link will take me to the appropriate place within the hybrid cloud console so I can see what insights has found. Remember that similar integrations exist for other third party applications or you can leverage a webhook. This has been a look at integrating Microsoft Teams with Red Hat Insights and the Hybrid Cloud Console. I hope that this has been helpful and see you next time.